I wanted to shoot a quick video on our newest bike, the Excalibur. Quite excited about it. Um, it, it it's a diversion or a, uh, a detour from our other design concepts. There's a couple of reasons why I designed this bike this way, and, and I'll touch on those. But this is a, a four battery, four sealed lead acid batteries bike with a flat deck. I made this bike because I wanted to show people what a properly made sealed lead acid four battery bike, how it should be made, and also what it should really cost. Now, getting to why we did this, there's two reasons. We did have a small percentage of customers who were struggling, either they were bigger, heavier, or they were struggling with, with their abilities to lift their leg over our 48 volt lithium ion bike with the hump, if you will. But the other reason is we've had companies that have tried to ride our coattails who bring out a four battery bike, which happened to not have the hump, the reason it didn't have the hump is because their four cheap sealed lead acid batteries wouldn't fit where the lithium ion battery is supposed to be. Instead, they put them in a metal battery box underneath. So I actually wanted to also make a bike that's a direct comparison to what they were claiming was a $4,000 scooter. Folks, I can make, when I exclude lithium ion and go to the four battery technology, I can make this bike a lot cheaper. And I decided I wanted to do that, not only for a direct comparison, but for my seniors to keep the cost lower, but yet be able to give them more features, like on our bikes, the shock absorbers. This bike also has a front disc brake, as well as two rear disc brakes, rear braking for coming down hills. See, I went with the sealed lead acid not only to make a direct comparison, but also to show people how this bike should be made. Rear wheel drive, not front wheel drive. Let me explain. With lithium ion bikes, our Condor and our Raptor, those bikes are perfectly balanced front and back, okay? They weigh about 65 pounds, uh, 55 for the Condor they could be front wheel drive because they're perfectly balanced and they're mathematically perfect. It will turn on its own axis and front wheel drive is superior. Pulling is better than pushing. Now, why did I go with rear wheel drive on this Excalibur? Very simple. Because of the weight of these four batteries, this bike does not is not supposed to be front wheel drive because it's not perfectly balanced. This bike weighs 125 pounds. There's much more weight in the back where these batteries are underneath in the battery boxes I indicated to you, okay? So these are not only rear wheel drive, they're dual rear wheel drive. Really compensates for the lack of torque that, that this type of battery has as opposed to our lithium ion machines because the customer is sitting over the drive wheels actually. If this bike were front wheel drive like the Condor and Raptor and like the cheap copies, you'd get a lot of tire spin because the front is much lighter than the rear part. It's not a perfect ratio. But with the rear wheel drive and the rear braking, this is a very, very nice machine. And for my seniors who don't need performance like the Condor or the Raptor, um, I did want to keep the cost lower. That's why I didn't make this lithium ion with the battery either here or underneath. Instead, I traded over to give them things like front shock absorbers, a seat that comes off like this. By the way, how this folds up, if you remove this, instead of a cheap pin, this T-bar, this screw, then this whole area, the whole front cams back onto the deck, okay? I want you also to take note of our trailer hitch. I've seen other cheap bikes where it, this metal, it was a joke. You, if you literally stepped on it, it would bend over. Also, it's recessed. Any bike with that hanging out off the back is absolutely ridiculous because the first time you go off a curb, guess what happens to your light and your trailer hitch? They're gone. So that's why this is also recessed. There's actually engineering in this bike. This is diamond plate aluminum, okay? Um, not cheap plastic and rubber. Here's what I tell people about all of our bikes. 
When facts cease at the salesman's lips, there's a problem. Stop listening to what a guy that's looking for commission is trying to tell you. Use your eyes. Look at the welds on our bikes. And then look at the welds on these other bikes. Look at even the componentry. This is just what you can see from the metal basket instead of a cheap vinyl bag as an example to the cell phone holder with a wired in charger. Little things like this. Now you don't buy a bike because of a basket or a cell phone uh, holder, but you're going to start to see that everything that we do is trying to be mimicked, but mimicked very cheaply. And here's the point. If what you see is cheap and the welds are bad, can you imagine what you can't see? Also, read the Better Business Bureau. Look at our reviews. Look at our Yelp reviews, our Google reviews. Take a moment and uh, verify what some salesman's telling you about a bike that visibly looks cheap to you. Look at their reviews. It's an eye opener. It really is. Now, this bike, also, the deck to access the batteries, there's two screws here. You pop off the seat as, well, a little more leverage, there you go, as such, and this whole deck cams back. There's hinges back here, much like uh, the older Corvettes back in the day, where the hood would open forward. It's, a, it's an unbelievable bike, and it rides beautifully. I'll give you an example. It's a bit of a rainy day here, but uh, again, front and rear shocks and rear braking, which is really key, especially with a heavier bike. This bike weighs 125 pounds, uh, unlike our Raptor, which weighs 65. Don't let anyone ever tell you that a four battery bike weighs 70 pounds, they're lying to you, okay? Now, so it needs to be rear wheel drive. It's quite a smooth ride. By the way, we also added a shock absorber on the seat. We really, uh, really went at it. These large wide balloon tires, not baby buggy tires that you see on some cheap copies, they're doing the driving. So it does extremely well on uneven surfaces and it's very, very smooth. Not as maneuverable as our Raptor because it's rear wheel drive, but still better than most bikes and certainly adequate. But I'm going to uh, end this part of the video with uh, just a little drive by, if you will, just to let you see it in action. We do have three speeds on this, and she'll really get up and go.